Hi guys, how's it going today? Today we're going to be taking a look at Tinkercad and we're going to make our first functional 3D printed part. We're going to start with a nut and a bolt. So let's begin. When we first get into Tinkercad, we're presented with this screen. We're going to drop down a ruler because that makes our life easy. We're pulling a polygon for our hex head of our bolt. And we're just going to leave that default size, but we are going to drop down the height. Let's actually just type this in. 5 millimeters just seems like a good idea right now. So, next we're going to come over here to the shapes and we're going to go to shape generators, featured, and isometric threads. Bring that in. Let's zoom in on this so we can show you some of the features of this generator. The diameter obviously changes the diameter of the bolt, as you can tell. Just leave that at a default of 12. Pitch changes the pitch of the threads. If you go up, kind of gets more screw like. You know, go down, gets a little bit more bolt-like. Let's just take this back to the standard of 1.5. So if you zoom in more, you can tell that there's these segments around the bolt. What we're going to do is, if you change the segments, it changes those. The less segments you have, the less round it gets. The more segments, the more round, basically. So I crank that all the way up to 32, because that's just where I like it. Rotations changes how many threads the bolt will have. So if you grow up in rotations, you have more threads. You go down, less. Tip scale, come over here and look. This is the tip. Tip scale changes how gradual the ramp is into the uh, threads. Tip segment, once again, changes it but based on how many segments it rounds into. So if you start here, you have one big fat ramp. If you come up, it gets a lot narrower, gradually increases into the thread. We'll just bring that to where it looks about right. And then thread scale changes the scale of the threads. So bring it up, bring it down. You got thinner or wider threads, you can tell. So I always just leave this at one. Next, what we want to do is we want to select this Select the polygon along with the threads, click the align tool, come over here to the polygon, align it to the center, click it again, align it to the middle, now your threads are centered. Now that's a pretty short bolt, so let's go ahead and click on just the threads this time, and let's increase the rotations. Let's try, I don't know, eight, nine rotations, just enough to get our nut on whenever we're finished. So next, what we're going to want to do is you see these, this is set at negative, so it actually goes underneath the bolt head. So we're just going to want to set that to zero. And now it's nice and flat. So we're going to take, select both of these, control D to duplicate, and just drag them over to the side. So then we're going to select both of these again, and click the group button over here, and group just these two together. And now we have a bolt. To make our nut, what we'll do is we're going to click the threads and we're just going to drop it down through the center. Now it doesn't have to go in a specific spot, you just need it in the middle of the thread. You don't want it at either end. And then we're going to click hold. And once we do that, we can group them together. And now there's a hole in our, or there's threads in our nut. So now we have a bolt and a nut. But here's the problem since we're 3D printing these, we don't have perfect tolerances. So what we actually have to do is ungroup these real quick and click on the threads. Just the threads. And we need to increase this diameter by some in order for the nut to fit on the bolt threads. So I've done a couple tests and I found just going about one millimeter more works out in my case. It might be different for you. So we're just going to go to 13 let it expand, grab both of them up, and group again, and we're all done. So there we are. We have a nut and a bolt, so let's go ahead and export these into an STL. Once that's done, just save your file and bring it into your slicer. Okay, here we are in our slicer. We're using Ultimate Acura. We're going to just open our folder up go to our downloads, which I'm already at. We're just going to bring in our file we got from Tinkercad. 
and here it is. So I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to use my standard default settings for PLA. Just 0.2 millimeter layer heights, uh, three shells, and that's about it. We're just going to slice that and then bring it over to our 3D printer and let's see what it looks like after it's done printing. Here we go guys, here's our nut and our bolt. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at these. I mean the bolt looks like your pretty standard bolt. I mean nothing more than a little short bolt. And same thing with our nut. Until the threads are nice and in there. Let's put it together and see if it goes together. Looks like it threads on just fine. And it seems like the threads are nice and tight. Almost like a perfect fit. Well there we go guys. We have our first functional 3D part from Tinkercad. If you guys like this video, like and subscribe and we'll be back to do another one soon.